I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm gonna to cover the intercostal muscle strain. The intercostals are the muscles in between the ribs. These muscles raise and lower the rib cage and also assist in other motions. Therefore, a strain to these muscles can involve pain even while breathing and with simple motions. The intercostal muscle strain is common among baseball players, rowers, ice hockey players, and javelin throwers. The mechanism of injury is usually a intense muscle contraction while the muscle is in a stretched position or repetitive lateral flexion, which is bending to either side, or repetitive rotation, which is turning to either side. A direct impact may be the cause of an intercostal muscle strain. This impact is usually traumatic and it will separate the ribs from each other. Also, this injury usually occurs during intense training or after restarting training after a prolonged period of non-training. Now I'm gonna go over the anatomy of the intercostal muscles just so you understand exactly where they are and what they do. The intercostal muscles are mainly involved in the mechanical aspect of breathing. They function to expand and decrease the size of the chest cavity to facilitate breathing. There are three layers of the intercostal muscles. The external intercostals, the internal intercostals, and the innermost intercostal muscles. The external intercostal muscles aid in normal and forced inhalation. Their origin is ribs number one through 11. Their insertion is ribs number two through 12. Their action is rib cage expansion through elevation and separation of the ribs. The internal intercostal muscles aid in forced expiration. Their origin are ribs number two through 12 and the insertion is ribs number one through 11. Their concentric action is to decrease the transverse dimensions of the rib cage through rib depression and inward bending. And then the innermost intercostal muscles are the deepest layer of the internal intercostal muscles. The symptoms of an intercostal strain include an intense, sharp, stabbing pain in the intercostal space. The intercostal space is located in between the ribs. There can also be stiffness, tightness, and spasm of the muscle, and there can also be a deep, dull ache. In most cases, there is a deep, dull ache and stiffness, tightness, and spasm of the muscles, which becomes a sharp, stabbing, intense pain when the area is aggravated, and those things that aggravate this condition can be as simple as deep breathing, coughing, sneezing, twisting, making sudden twisting motions or sudden bending motions. When an intercostal strain occurs, most likely you're gonna to have to use shallow breathing just because deep breathing is going to be so intense. The motions that you use are gonna to have to be slow and guarded. And usually when the muscle is so tight, those are the only types of motions that you can perform without eliciting an intensification of the symptoms. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Please see a medical professional if you suffer an injury and you think it is an intercostal strain. Viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Anytime you have an injury, please see a medical professional. You could see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of medical professional. Anytime you are rehabbing an injury, please work with a professional. Do not self-diagnose yourself and do not make up your own treatment plan. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, please stop immediately and find a viable substitute. As a doctor of chiropractic, I have treated numerous patients who have suffered intercostal strains. If you have suffered an intercostal strain, please see a medical professional. If you see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, the doctor is going to perform a consultation, an examination, a report of findings, and 
treatment. If someone comes into my office and they think, and I think that they have this condition, after I have performed the consultation, the examination, the report of findings, I will start my treatment. The treatment will consist of a chiropractic adjustment. The chiropractic adjustment is the reestablishment of proper physiology. What I'm trying to accomplish is moving the vertebrae or the joints so that they are functioning properly. So the proper motion is restored and the proper nerve flow is restored. As for cell treatment, the first thing you want to do is just practice normal breathing. You want to make sure that you are breathing properly. There may be slight ribcage expansion, but in normal breathing, the process is with the diaphragm. Therefore, the diaphragm is moving up and down, and there is limited motion in the intercostal muscles. Practicing normal breathing will help you to strengthen the diaphragm and the surrounding muscles. Therefore, you will not be using any of the accessory breathing muscles. You can perform isometric core strengthening exercises, such as the pelvic tilt, the abdominal drawing in maneuver, and stomach vacuums. Anytime you perform an exercise, you want to notice if it elicits symptoms or intensifies symptoms. If it does elicit symptoms or intensify symptoms, you want to stop immediately. You can also start to perform slow and controlled motion exercises. You want to move through a symptom-free range of motion. Even if that motion is minuscule, it could just be a half an inch, but that's where you want to start. Increase the intensity of the exercises in small, gradual, calculated increments. Thank you, everybody, for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozella Sports Medicine Report, where I cover the intercostal muscle strain. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Please feel free to like this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, D. C. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book, and you can also find my blog. My blog contains articles on sports medicine, health, fitness, chiropractic, and nutrition. Again, my website is championshipchiropractic.com. Always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between your training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free, rehabilitate your injuries, and accomplish your goals.